and my leijo for backing out of making my sister-in-law's wedding dress. I, 24 female, am a seamstress slash dress designer who works for private clients on commission. Two years ago, my sister got married, and as my gift to her, I designed and made her wedding dress free of charge and all her bridesmaids' dresses at cost of raw materials. My brother's then-girlfriend, now fiancé, was part of the wedding party and knew I was doing this. Before I even started designing, she asked me if for her and my brother's wedding would I make her a dress. I casually agreed when actually making the gowns my sister and her other five bridesmaids were so nice and pleasant to work with. But my brother's girlfriend was a nightmare. She kept asking me to make changes after we finalized the designs and I had already started making the dresses. She would cancel and just not show up to fittings. She complained constantly of how it looked tacky and unprofessional. And she even ripped the fabric on purpose when I told her I could not make any more changes. And I had to go on a wild goose chase to get more of the same fabric in the right color. My brother proposed two weeks ago and the first thing my new sister-in-law did was come over to me and ask when we could meet up to start designing. Now at this point in my career, I have dealt with my fair share of bridezillas and control freaks and I know how to handle them. So I let her know when she could come to my studio for a, a consultation. Last week was her appointment and she came in all excited. But when I brought up my pricings and options for her, she got really mad, saying it wasn't fair to expect her to pay when we are family. I told her nicely that I charge for my work, as would any other vendor she got for her wedding, and that we can look at the most affordable packages I have if she was concerned about the cost. At this point, she totally lost it, screaming at me that I'm worthless and a B-word whose work isn't even good enough for her, and that she was doing me a favor by letting me have this opportunity. I tried to calm her down so we could talk about it, but she just got worse, knocking over one of my display cases and shattering glass, beads, and expensive jewelry all over the floor. Help. At that point, I was done. I yelled at her to get out of my studio before I called the cops. Later that day, my brother called me and yelled at me for being so disgusting and unwelcoming to his fiance. I explained to him that I am more than happy to make her gown and her bridesmaids gowns at a fair price. But he got even more upset and said that I had done our sisters for free. So I should do this one for free too. Now my parents and brother are mad at me, threatening to leave me out of the wedding if I don't make her a free dress. But I still think I should be paid for my work. Am I the a-hole? Absolutely not. I'm sorry. She was expecting it for free. Free? Homie, I'm trying to run a business here, dog. Girl, what do you mean for free? What do you mean Free. I don't, oh, this, this is what we're talking about with, like, the family stuff, Yeah, you know? Like, yeah. why do you, like, it's the entitlement. Like, you feel entitled to my time. You feel entitled to my resources. You feel entitled to my work, work that people are willing to pay sh money for. It, bro, like, dresses? That costs hella oh, money. Money. Yeah. Money. The, my dresses cost more than, like, three of my packages. Dang. <laughs> yeah, dude. It, yeah, no, absolutely not. Uh, this sucks because... Like, you probably want to do nice things like this for your family. But I think you moving forward. A discount. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, moving forward, just give them a discount. Don't do it for free. Because if you do do it for free, then, and other people see that, they'll, like, I don't know, come up with some sort of thinking where it's like, oh, she's doing this for her whole family because she is, yeah. like, the business owner of this place, right? So don't, don't, don't create that image because yeah. this is going to be rough. No. There was this point in my graphic design career where i started working with um uh, uh kindergarten schools because like i don't know if you ever i don't know if you've seen the kindergarten photo shoot in a minute but they're terrible yeah, like they're you'll like it'll be like a, a little kid and they'll be, he'll be like this on a rock or something it's like why do you want to do a little kid sitting like this on a rock or yeah. or they have like a really like weird background where it's just like bland and like whatever right so <laughs> Your boy's good at Photoshop, right? Yeah. And so I made one Photoshop for my 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 niece, and it looked nice. Like I had like yeah. her like in like, I think it was like a flower background, and like it's just like in a, it just really looked really good, right? Yeah. And she showed it to like the families there, and now everybody <laughs> wanted me to make one. Now at first I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna charge you five bucks, pretty Actually, reasonable, yeah. And uh, whatever, right? We're good, and I'll make some. Yo, uh, so many people were like, well, can you change the background? Oh, can you actually, you know, I want you to take this other one instead. They wanted or the edits. They wanted so many different edits on it. And then at some point, um, a, a lady was like, oh, um, uh, I just want to, I, I, all my three kids go here. Can you edit them all? But I still only want to pay the five bucks. Oh. Like, bro, no. 
it's no. five bucks per kid, dude. And this is what I'm saying. Like, because they knew my sister and my sister had me as a brother, they thought they were like cool enough to just yeah. ask me for these kind of favors where I'm like, no, dude, I'm not gonna no. what you mean. Yeah. So it's rough. I need out here. my worth. Yeah. And this yeah. is like so five bucks, bro. <laughs> it's cheap, right? It's cheap. Yo, you'd be going to like the mall and you, they have like graphic design locations and they'll be like, Oh yeah, it's 120 yeah, if you want to go photo shoot. No. Like I'm like, no. Like, you have to pay five dollars per edit. Everything yeah. you want me to change, at least five bucks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Lighting, yeah. color correction, five bucks, everything, huh? We do um yeah. event renderings as one of our packages. Oh, nice. Um, shout out to Abril, my Let's go. My, my, she's my girl. Um, but she was telling me, because she does, like, interior design, which is, like, so to do event renderings for weddings, I feel like is so cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, when she does, like, designs, you're charging per edit. You're going to, we're going to sit down. We're going to have a very detailed conversation about mm -hmm. everything that you want in it. I'm going to deliver. And if there's stuff that you don't like. That's wild. Yeah. That, I mean, that's pretty good, though. Like, I think it's, it's definitely good to, um, uh, put your worth up front you know like because it's also like respecting someone's time right yeah same thing with the stress situation it's like yeah i did my sister's dress for free my sister mm -hmm. <laughs> my sister my I blood, get, yeah. yeah my blood um i did it at a time when i was on the come up like i had the time i had the resources and also i know my sister that's my sister i've spent yeah. my whole life with her um but now i think this goes also for anyone running a business right it's like when you're starting out, of course, you want to do all these favors for people. Like, yeah. you want to help your family out, especially because you have the capacity to. Sis is moving. She got a business. She's booming. She has all these clients now. Yeah. I think, respectfully, I would have maybe been like, hey, like, just knowing that I don't want to work with my <laughs> my brother's girl, yeah. you know? I think I would have tried to put it out there at first. Like, hey, I am actually fully booked. Like, oh, that's I can a good refer way you, yeah. but I'm fully booked. I genuinely do not have the time yeah that's really good way to work around it yeah dang and okay. if she's pushing for it then like hey then this is what you have to pay like yeah i'm not gonna give up a paying client who's paying me full price to help you because what you're not you feel entitled anything. to yeah. my time like no you're not a, entitled to my the time. craziest part was like oh i'm doing you a favor by letting me make I'm, one like, are you a influencer bruh <laughs> like what? Is unless you got, reason? unless you got like a, what two mil on IG, you ain't doing right. me jack, bro. You, you ain't doing nothing, nothing for me. Are yeah. you gonna connect me to Beyonce? Facts, <laughs> facts. Yeah. Oh man. I have a spicy question for you. <laughs> I like okay. it. Okay. Uh, obviously, you're in the in the wedding industry, and it's mm -hmm. pricey. I'm not gonna front, and um, uh, I've seen your pricing. I think it's pretty damn like reasonable Thank to be you. quite honest. Like yeah. pretty good. But I still know as good as pricing can be, people still want discounts and they want a better deal and they want blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, like I, I know I know your cousin's cousin that knows your dog that knows uh, the brother. Yeah. Uh, can I get a, like a 30 percent discount? You yeah. know, like so does that happen to you often? Yes. Oh, man. How two questions follow up to that. Uh, first question, what's the lowest someone has like try to get you to go and then second um uh, uh what ha what do you what do you do when people actually mm -hmm. try to lowball you so this is something that i'm still actively working through okay and i knew that this was going to be a big thing when i started the business just because i start i'm i'm new right it's a yeah. new business um i think my packages are actually very fair um where they are right now is actually like the lower end of the industry average and for what I provide in my packages, like, bro, I, sh I, I know my worth. I know yeah. I should be charging more. But again, the reason for the low pricing right now is because of the fact, hey, I knew, I'm new. Like, I understand I'm new. I want the reviews. Yeah. I want the portfolio. I want you to see that I am capable of this caliber of weddings. Um, so, of course, you just have to take some L's when you start any business. Yeah, right? 100%. Um, so the lowest... Oh, gosh. This is, like, one of the first clients that I booked very early on. Okay. And sh I love this client because um, they ended up being really cool. One okay. of the funniest parts about being a planner is working with the moms, actually. Oh, interesting. I've okay. had several moms call me, and they're like, hey, I'm helping my daughter plan her wedding. She doesn't like planning things, or she has a lot of anxiety, or she's just stressed out, you know? Yeah. So I'm doing the work of finding her vendors, and I reaching out i want to quote da, 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 da. my favorite is when they're like also we're on a very tight budget 
<laughs> I like how they, they probably add it towards the end too. Huh? Yes. It's like, yeah. I want this, this, and this, and this. By the way, we got 20 bucks to our name. Oh, 1,000%. <laughs> we call it um, champagne taste with a beer budget. Oh, yeah. okay. So that's, a, that's, that's industry. Like that. <laughs> industry saying. Yeah. Um, packages and wedding industry for planners, it's like you have day of coordination, month of coordination, partial planning, and full planning, typically. Okay. Um, day of coordination is basically... The couple is planning all of the details and they just need somebody to come in and make sure the timeline is going mm. well. Everything yeah. is executed to what they want. So, yeah, this is what they wanted. OK. But <laughs> but we also need this funder. We need okay. this recommendation. I also need help designing <laughs> um, on top of coordinating that day. We need somebody to go pick up the cake and pick up the flowers and oh put the flowers goodness. together. And that happens in weddings. Yeah. Typically, though. You would charge yeah. for something like that. It, I mean, this she just kept blowing, blowing me. I loved her energy. <laughs> I like how you're like softening the blow before you. Yes, because I need to. Because it's it's crazy to me that I did this. Okay. Um, oh, you went through with it. I went through with it. Okay, I need to know. Let's go ahead. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred bucks for every day of coordination. And it was more than, also my day of coordination, I don't believe that day of coordination is a thing. My day of coordination can be compared to other planners month of coordination because I don't like reaching out a week before, give yeah. me your stuff. And now I have to run your event. I would much rather be like, Hey, give me all your vendors at least two months in advance. Yeah. And then about a month, four to six weeks beforehand, I'm going to reach out to your vendors. I'm going to establish a relationship with them. So they know who I am. They feel comfortable coming to me and we're all on the same page. So your day runs perfectly. Okay. okay. If I'm just showing up the week of that, there's yeah. so many room, so much room for like many mistakes. Yeah. Okay. So my day of is month of, and from the time she booked, which is about seven months, before her wedding, I was in constant contact with mom. Dang. Which is, like, unheard of. Um, okay, so just to get kind of, like, a, <clears throat> a an idea of what yeah. this, this the difference here. Yeah. So what she asked you, like, uh, for your services, how much would you typically charge? So at the time when I started, I was only charging $1,250, $1,250. Right now, yeah. the minimum I'm doing is $1,500 for day of. Damn. Because, again, it's not just the day of. Like, there's so much more work yeah. that goes into it. And included in that is, like, there's there has to be at least two coordinators there. Mm -hmm. um, what Like, the lead coordinator, I, I'm taking care of you as a couple. We're making sure that you're going to where you need to be at specific times. And then the other coordinator to help set up and take care of the family. Um, and make sure, you know, every, throughout the whole thing, we're just making sure yeah. everything runs smoothly. Um so yeah, she the re, the way she also got me to continue to lower from twelve fifty. Well, it's a very small wedding. You don't need to have an assistant coordinator. Um, we'll have somebody there who can help you. Yeah. Uh, what else did she say? It's only going to be for six hours instead of an eight hour wedding, and it's all in one place. Like she just kept, and I was like, you yeah. know what, like. Oh, I need the That's review. Crazy, like, dude. I need, I need the book. Like, I'm gonna that, take the booking. I'm gonna take the L on this. I'm that's gonna like be half. That's more than. That's, that's one more than third. Half. That's a one third that yeah. she basically got the price. That's crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yo, she owes you a big one. Some but sandwich you know or what? Something. We did the wedding. I love their family. Oh yeah. Love them. They love me. They still reach out to me all the time. Dang, yeah. that's pretty cool. That's that's one thing I love about um, being in this industry is that especially as a planner, I work so closely with you. I'm not your family. <laughs> like you, you want to invite me to Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is my new, uh, I'm, I'm moving in. Yeah. This is my new yeah. apartment here. Yeah. Anybody who's new, who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.